Welcome to AI Talking Head. As of May 2023, China has launched 629 operational satellites into space, showcasing its rapid advancements in space technology and its growing space agency. This number is particularly surprising when considering the complexities and costs associated with launching satellites. China's aggressive launch schedule underscores its ambition to become a dominant player in space exploration and satellite technology, challenging traditional space powers like the United States and Russia. This surge in satellite launches not only supports China's commercial, military, and scientific objectives but also positions it as a leading competitor in the development of anti-satellite technologies, which are crucial for national security and strategic dominance in space. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. China's space ambitions have soared to new heights in recent years, with the nation positioning itself as a formidable contender in the global space race. Beyond the tangible achievements of sending astronauts to space, landing probes on the moon, and launching an increasing number of satellites, China has also made significant strides in developing anti-satellite ASAT technologies. These advancements are not merely for scientific exploration or commercial expansion but are intricately linked to China's strategic military objectives. Anti-satellite technology represents a critical component of modern warfare, embodying the principles of space superiority and electronic warfare. These technologies enable a nation to disable or destroy enemy satellites, thereby disrupting communications, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities that are reliant on space-based assets. In an era where military operations are heavily dependent on satellite navigation, communication, and intelligence gathering, the ability to neutralize an adversary's satellite infrastructure can provide a significant strategic advantage. China's pursuit of advanced ASAT capabilities is a clear indication of its intent to challenge the traditional dominance of Western powers in space and to ensure it can protect its own interests in the event of a conflict. The development of these technologies underscores a broader shift in military strategy, moving towards a multi-dimensional approach that includes space as a critical domain of warfare, alongside land, sea, air, and cyber domains. As China continues to advance its space program and refine its ASAT capabilities, the international community watches closely. The implications of these developments extend beyond the realms of military strategy, influencing international relations, space policy, and the future of space exploration. The rapid evolution of China's space agency and its focus on ASAT technology serve as a reminder of the increasing militarization of space and the potential for new frontiers of conflict in the 21st century. The growing concerns among nations regarding the potential for space-based conflicts and the implications of ASAT capabilities are significant and multifaceted. As countries like China, the United States, Russia, and India continue to develop and demonstrate their ASAT technologies, the risk of inadvertent escalation and conflict in space increases. One of the primary concerns is the physical threat that ASAT weapons pose to satellites. These weapons can create debris fields that endanger not only the targeted satellites but also other spacecraft in orbit. The proliferation of space debris from ASAT tests and potential conflicts could significantly reduce the usability of certain orbital paths, leading to a cascading effect known as the Kessler syndrome. This scenario, where the density of objects in orbit makes the deployment of new satellites impractical and endangers existing satellites, could severely limit the ability of all nations to utilize space for peaceful purposes. Moreover, the strategic implications of ASAT capabilities extend beyond the physical destruction of satellites. They can also include jamming, cyber attacks, and directed energy weapons that can temporarily or permanently disable satellites without creating physical debris. These actions can still have profound effects on national security, economic activities, and daily life, as they can disrupt GPS navigation, telecommunications, weather forecasting, and other critical services that rely on satellites. The international community is also worried about the lack of established norms and rules for military activities in space. The United Nations has been discussing the issue for years, but no comprehensive international treaty specifically regulates space warfare. The absence of clear guidelines can lead to misinterpretations of intentions and actions, increasing the risk of conflict through miscalculation. 
Furthermore, the development of ASAT capabilities by multiple nations can lead to an arms race in space, with countries seeking to ensure their own security by deploying more sophisticated and resilient satellites and ASAT systems. This cycle of action and reaction can escalate tensions and lead to a less stable strategic environment. China's space agency and military have been actively developing a range of ASAT technologies, reflecting a broad and multifaceted approach to space control and space warfare capabilities. These technologies include ground-based missiles, directed energy weapons, and cyber warfare tactics, among others. Ground-based missiles. China's development of ground-based missile systems for ASAT purposes has been well documented. In 2007, China conducted a successful test of a ground-based ballistic missile that destroyed one of its own weather satellites, demonstrating its ability to engage targets in low Earth orbit. This test marked a significant milestone, showcasing China's advancements in missile technology and its willingness to pursue kinetic ASAT capabilities. Directed Energy Weapons Directed energy weapons, such as lasers and high-powered microwaves, are another area of focus for China. These systems can be used to temporarily or permanently disable satellites without causing the physical debris that results from kinetic attacks. China has been investing in laser technology, with reports indicating progress in the development of both terrestrial and space-based laser systems. The advantage of directed energy weapons is their potential for precise targeting and the ability to avoid the creation of space debris, which is a growing concern among spacefaring nations. Cyber Warfare Tactics in addition to kinetic and directed energy ASAT systems, China is also developing cyber warfare capabilities to target satellites. Cyber attacks can disrupt or disable satellite communications, navigation, and data transmission functions. By targeting the command and control systems of satellites, China could potentially neutralize an adversary's space assets without the need for physical destruction. This approach is attractive because it can be less visible and may offer plausible deniability making it a valuable tool in the strategic arsenal. Comparison with other nations, the United States, Russia, and India have also developed ASAT capabilities, with each nation pursuing its own unique approaches and technologies. The United States has a long history of ASAT development and is known to possess a variety of kinetic and non-kinetic ASAT systems. Russia has demonstrated its ASAT capabilities through tests and is believed to have a range of systems comparable to those of the United States and China. India made a significant statement in 2019 when it successfully conducted an ASAT test, joining the ranks of nations with proven ASAT capabilities. China's ASAT capabilities are part of a broader trend of the militarization of space, with nations seeking to ensure their security and strategic interests in the space domain. The development of these technologies by multiple nations underscores the competitive nature of space and the potential for conflict. As China continues to advance its ASAT capabilities, it is likely to maintain a position of strength in the emerging space warfare arena, challenging the traditional dominance of Western powers and influencing the strategic balance in space. One of the key incidents that highlighted the urgency of the situation and China's advancements in anti-satellite technology was the 2007 test of its ground-based anti-satellite missile. On January 11, 2007, China successfully launched a missile from the Earth and destroyed its own aging Fengyun 1C polar orbit weather satellite, which was orbiting approximately 537 miles above the Earth. This test was significant for several reasons. One. Demonstration of capability. The successful destruction of the Fengyun 1C satellite showcased China's ability to precisely target and eliminate satellites in orbit, marking a significant milestone in its military space program. 2. International reaction. The test drew widespread international attention and criticism, as it created a large amount of space debris. The debris from the destroyed satellite posed a risk to other satellites and spacecraft, including the International Space Station, ISS, which had to adjust its orbit to avoid potential collisions with the debris. 3. Shift in Global Space Dynamics The incident signaled a shift in global space dynamics, indicating that space was no longer a sanctuary and could be a domain for military operations. It also underscored the growing strategic competition among major powers in space. 4. Space Debris Concerns 
The creation of thousands of pieces of trackable debris and many more smaller, untrackable fragments raised concerns about the long-term sustainability of space activities. The test contributed to the already existing problem of space debris and highlighted the need for international cooperation to mitigate the risks associated with space operations. 5. Arms Race Implications The successful AZAT test by China prompted other nations, particularly the United States, Russia, and India, to reassess their own space security posture. It raised fears of an arms race in space and led to increased interest in developing countermeasures and defensive systems against potential AZAT threats. The 2007 test was a pivotal moment that not only demonstrated China's growing space agency and military capabilities but also underscored the urgency of addressing the issue of space debris and the potential for conflict in space. It has since influenced international discussions on the rules and norms of space behavior, the importance of space situational awareness, and the need for space traffic management to ensure the safety and sustainability of space activities for all nations. The strategic importance of anti-satellite technology in global security is underscored by several key points. 1. Military dependence on space. Modern militaries rely heavily on satellites for communication, navigation, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The ability to disrupt or destroy these assets can significantly impair an adversary's capabilities, providing a strategic advantage in conflict situations. 2. Space as a warfighting domain. The development of AZAT capabilities by multiple nations, including China, the United States, Russia, and India, indicates that space is increasingly viewed as a domain for military operations. This shifts the strategic balance and necessitates new approaches to national security planning. 3. Space Debris and Kessler Syndrome The potential for space debris generated by AZAT tests and conflicts poses a significant risk to satellites and spacecraft. The creation of debris fields can lead to the Kessler Syndrome, where collisions between objects in orbit generate more debris, potentially making certain orbits unusable and threatening the sustainability of space activities. 4. International Concerns and Cooperation the international community is concerned about the implications of AZAT capabilities for space security and the peaceful use of outer space. There is a growing call for international dialogue and cooperation to establish a framework for responsible behavior in space, including transparency and confidence-building measures, as well as discussions on the potential for arms control agreements in space. 5. China's 2007 AZAT Test China's successful test of a ground-based AZAT missile in 2007 was a pivotal moment that highlighted the urgency of addressing AZAT capabilities. It demonstrated China's ability to target and destroy satellites, contributing to space debris and signaling a shift in global space dynamics. 6. Multifaceted AZAT Technologies Nations are developing a range of AZAT technologies, including ground-based missiles, directed energy weapons, and cyber warfare tactics. These technologies can disable or destroy satellites, disrupting critical services and military capabilities. 7. Strategic Balance and Arms Race The proliferation of AZAT capabilities can lead to an arms race in space, with nations seeking to ensure their own security by deploying more sophisticated and resilient satellites and AZAT systems. This cycle of action and reaction can escalate tensions and lead to a less stable strategic environment. 8 need for international framework to prevent the weaponization of space and to ensure that it remains a domain for peaceful uses benefiting all of humanity there is a need for international dialogue and cooperation the goal is to establish norms and potentially negotiate treaties to regulate military activities in space the development and deployment of azat technologies have profound implications for global security they not only affect national security and military strategies but also have the potential to alter the very nature of international relations. As such, it is in the interest of all space-faring nations to work towards a cooperative and peaceful use of outer space. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's anti-satellite technology advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this episode. 
If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more contents similar to this one. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.